Welcome back to Phenom Yachts The Build. I'm Sean Real. Today we're going to give you some exciting new updates on the Phenom 43 that is almost finished just in time for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Stay tuned. As you can see here at Phenom, it's all hands on deck, getting this 43 done just in time for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show in a couple of weeks. Right behind me is a piece that we love here at Phenom, and it's our gap tower, and it's fully designed and customized here in our metal shop. And just a couple of weeks ago, we were over in the metal shop, and we got a really in-depth look at how this comes together using frames and jigs to make everything fit perfectly. Let's take a look at some of that footage. Directly behind me is the jig setup for the Phenom 43 gap tower. Now, a jig is a fiberglass part that we use as a template to ensure that all the metalwork fits perfectly on every Phenom. Stepping a little closer, notice the frame structure for the jig. The frame structure holds the fiberglass pieces in the final position to allow for ease of assembly of the frame itself. The assembly of the frame itself is accomplished by using pre-cut and bent pieces of aluminum assembled along the jig to allow us to weld it in place, remove it, powder coat it, and install it on the final product. Just another quick shot to show you the difference between the jig structure and the tower structure. The tower structure is all this round tubing. The jig structure is the square tubing. Now let's head over here and take a look at the console and lean post jigs. Same concept here. This is the fiberglass console and lean post jig that will be used to form the D tubing to support the hard top and the tower on top of it. And this is our powder coating department. Right here behind me are the aft legs for the Phenom 43, and this is gonna give you access to the gap tower up above where the actual hard top is. As you can see, we've got three rod holders on either side of the aft legs to act as steps to give you access to the ladder, which then allows you to access the gap tower platform above the hard top. We've designed this ladder with dual steps as well as grooves for added safety and comfort. Judging from that footage, you can tell the manufacturing of this gap tower is a very intricate and heavily engineered process. Now we're back here on the assembly line and the team has installed all the electronics at the secondary helm and we're testing wire connections to the main helm to ensure that everything works properly before ultimately installing it on the water for our final testing. Now let's go check out the blue topaz on the hull side and all throughout the boat. Now if you remember back to episode six where we had Jimmy painting the blue topaz mohawks on these four 400 engines from Mercury, we definitely match the rest of the boat to that same color. And remember, all of this is done here in-house. Unfortunately, we missed the footage of Javi painting the boat because we were at a boat show and photo shoot in Rhode Island. We definitely wanted to make sure you got a good sneak peek of the boat in this color, but please make sure you come check it out in Fort Lauderdale in just a few short weeks. Now let's go check out the interior cabin for one last update. Now we've shown you this several times throughout the process of the build, but this is the interior cabin of the Phenom 43 and it's taking shape around me. You can see I've got seven feet of headroom, the microwave, sink, and refrigerator have been installed, the cabinets have been installed, the door to the head has been installed. We also have an electronics cabinet here with a 943 Garmin installed for ease of access while you're inside the cabin. The queen size bed forward, as well as the actuated table, it's gonna wreak a really nice entertainment zone and a 32 inch television that's already been installed. We'll keep the updates coming. We cannot wait to show you this finished product. That'll do it for this episode of The Build. I know it was a short episode, but we have got to stay out of these guys' way because in just a few short weeks, we'll be at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We'll be there from October 30th to November the 3rd with this very boat in booth 2084. Make sure you come check us out. Also, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the next one.